All right, welcome everyone. My name is K. Michael Russell. I'm a comic book colorist. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, this is going to be a time lapse. I actually did some audio and something happened and it got messed up, so now I'm talking over the time lapse version of this uh, of this piece. So uh, this one I'm starting a bit different than before uh, than what I usually do. I should say there's no base colors on this one really. I'd, I wanted it to look like one of those old sort of grindhouse movie posters, and so I wanted some of that white to kind of come through, uh, you know, like it was actually painted. So, so basically, I'm just I've got my flats layer, uh, got the fill turned all the way down, so you can't really see it, even though it's there. So I can go in and grab colors and and uh, and that sort of thing. So I'm really only using a handful of colors in this entire uh, piece, probably. I think it's only two or three, maybe four main rendering colors. Uh, there's a yellow, an orange, and a red, and then I think I throw some like olive green on the guns at the end. But um, so as far as from a color scheme standpoint, it's it's very very simple um, piece. So and uh, and I'm creating mask uh, layers for each color basically, or I will after I start this. I realize that masking this would be a lot easier. Uh, if you don't understand the masking technique that I'm using, go back a few videos and watch the, uh, I think it's called a very different coloring method, and um, you'll be able to see how that works. Basically, I'm picking the color and then painting on the mask instead of, um, you know, the old-fashioned painting on a layer method. So, so what I basically did was used yellow as sort of a, I guess, the brightest color that's really going to be on the page except for the white that I'm allowing through and so I'm using yellow for all the on the upper uh, kind of mid tones and then orange for the a little bit darker and then uh, in the shadows and then red a little bit darker than that and for all of the main characters that's pretty much it so um, and before someone asked uh, about the brushes that I'm using these are uh, either Kyle Webster brushes or I've got a few Noah Bradley brushes I think in the mix but uh, there are links to uh, Kyle's brush set his mega pack in the description uh, if it's not one of my uh, just usual soft round brushes which I don't think I use any these are all really kind of painty brushes because again I wanted it to look like it was painted I didn't really want to look like I didn't want it to look like a, a com it was done on a computer, <laughs> so even though it was, so I little I left it intentionally messy in places like it's not super clean. Um, I also knew that I was going to be doing a, um, a kind of grainy texture effect over the top of everything, and I was going to be muddying it up a little bit. So I uh, I didn't worry too much about getting all the rendering exact, and so it's a little bit rougher than around the edges than what you what you're probably used to for me anyway. So, uh, yeah, so I'm just going through here and starting with skin tones. And I wanted to kind of, I'm really, really testing this <laughs> first because I've never really done this before, this particular method. So um, I thought I would give it a shot uh, this way. And I figured if it worked on the faces and, and the, the skin, then it would work for everything else. Um, and because I don't use this method very often, I'm sort of bumbling around in a couple of places trying to get the effect that I want. So obviously this technique doesn't work on every type of um, line art, but depending on the project, um, it's uh, it works. And like in this case, it, it's the, the original poster that I was looking at, some, the not the original Inglorious Bastards poster from. Uh, 50s or 60s, I think, was kind of using that as a, um, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Using that as sort of a, a, an idea of the palette that I wanted to go with, where it, just everything looked like fire, uh, basically. So it was a, which sort of fit the tone of this issue where they're kind of going to war. Um, so I thought it was, uh, I thought it would be a good fit. But this is a, it's a bit of a challenge not having you know, limiting yourself to just a handful of colors because you, you don't get the whole rainbow of contrast, you know, so things like um, and when I start in his shirt, like I've got to think about her hair and how do I keep that 
you know, separate and so that they're not blending together, basically. Um, here I'm using some of that red color for the first time to get the deepest shadows in that kind of red, red tone. And, and so, yeah, you can kind of see what I'm doing here. Like on his shirt, I had to go a little bit darker than, you know, to make sure that it's popping against that that hair of hers because, again, there's just there's so little color to, to actually choose from. And I ended up, I realized way too late, but I ended up, I should have put the lightest color on top in the layer stack. You can see it goes red, orange, yellow over there, and it's really, um, it should be the other way around. Um, yeah, that's when I realized that. <laughs> that would have made this a bit easier. And I hadn't quite decided what I was going to do with the background yet at this point. Um, I ended up not doing much at all, just sort of using a, a grungy brush over the top of it. But I love the fact there's a postal truck in this poster. Like <laughs> The name of the book's Postal. He's a postman. There's a post truck in there. Again, super rough, not really worrying about making the edges exact and that sort of thing. Um, kind of fit the tone we were looking for here. don't know what to say about this part still just sort of uh, still just cleaning up the rendering and a little bit of reflective light there on her arm and I thought about messing around with the color of her shirt a little bit more but decided I think I decided against it I think there's a there's a color balance layer there but I ended up deleting that I think so but yeah as far as rendering everybody that's it's almost completely done. This went pretty quick. The um, only thing left I think is the guns and then I'm going to play around for a bit with um, with some different layer effects and before I finally settled on what happened there. So so yeah, you can hear I'm using kind of a grungy brush to fill in the background just a little bit to give it something interesting to look at there. And Yep, when I start zooming out like that I'm getting pretty close to being finished. Again, pretty messy highlights on this, but it's on purpose for this one. And the green was too green, so I ended up kind of backing it off and blending it just a little bit uh, more. Just desaturated it. And there, there wasn't really enough contrast between the background and his head, so I lightened up his head a little bit there. And uh, Here I'm setting up some color holds. Um, basically changing the color of the lines. Um, eventually everything gets changed, I think. I don't leave anything black on this one because I wanted it to look faded and, and I didn't want it to look too sharp, basically, and too clean. So, again, everything here was about dirtying it up, basically. Found a couple of weird places where the flats weren't exactly right, so I went in and cleaned that up a little bit. Uh, yeah, we're getting close here. So yeah, I did, just trying different things, and I, I tried. I thought about desaturating it a little bit, but I, I didn't. I liked how strong that it looked, pretty saturated. So here I'm basically just experimenting with. Uh, uh, I thought about putting a poster crease across the middle, but I, I couldn't find a way to put that in there without affecting all the other colors too much so I ended up taking it out but that's when I wish I knew more about Photoshop honestly <laughs> still messing with that <laughs> still messing with that fold I didn't like any of the layer modes I didn't like how it looked at all so it ends up going away Yeah, it's actually pretty close to being done here. So, um, so anyway, I hope you guys didn't like uh, like the uh, little speed version here. Uh, if you want to see the full version, um, let me know. I'll, I'll stick it up here also. Um, I think it's about uh, an hour, hour and a half or so. And as always, if you enjoyed this, be sure to check the description at the bottom uh, for uh, my coloring course and uh, 
links to all the resources that I have in there. There's a lot of those down there. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it or a thumbs down if you didn't like it. See you guys in the next one.